The United States government is on a government shutdown, so how does that affect the United States Army? Stick around, because I'm going to explain it to you. What's up? I'm U.S. Army veteran Christopher Chaos, and moments before recording this video, it was announced that the United States was on a government shutdown. Now, if you are outside of the United States, you may think that sounds like the whole entire government is on a shutdown and we have no president and all that kind of stuff. Well, that is not the case. It essentially just means that the government funding is not going to be getting pushed to certain organizations until Congress can agree on some terms of a spending budget. So I am not a political person and I am not going to get into all the politics of all of this. I'm really just going to tell you how does this affect our United States Army. And really it affects the military in the same way, but I'm really just going to be talking about the Army because that's the terminology I know because I was an Army veteran. But really it affects the military as a whole in the same way, whether it's Air Force, Navy, Marines, whatever. So with that being said, you might be curious, how does this government shutdown affect our United States Army? First main concern usually is, do soldiers still show up for duty? And the answer to that is yes, they will still show up to duty. Now, depending on how long the shutdown lasts, can affect a soldier's pay. In the United States Army, soldiers get paid on the 1st and 15th of every month. So if the shutdown extends past the 1st of February, then that could delay a soldier's paycheck. So if the shutdown lasts more than 13 days, that's when that's going to start having an outcome on a soldier receiving their paycheck on time. Now, if that soldier still has bills to pay, they're kind of gonna be in a sticky situation because their bank that has their mortgage and the bank that has their car loans and everything else is not gonna care that the government is on a shutdown and they didn't receive their paycheck on time. So essentially they are going to be late on their bills if it comes down to a shutdown lasting that long. In the past, the longest shutdown the United States government has ever had was 21 days. And that was in 1995 to 1996. The last government shutdown was in 2013 and that one lasted 18 days. So if the government shutdown ends up lasting anywhere between the 18 21 days, then it could potentially delay a soldier's paycheck. But if it only lasts a couple days, maybe a day or two, maybe three or four days, whatever, then they won't see any kind of delay in receiving their paycheck. But essentially, soldiers still have missions to do, whether it's in Afghanistan, overseas, here in the United States, they still have a mission to do. And they're going to get paid to do that mission, it just potentially could be delayed. Now beyond the paycheck for a U.S. Army soldier, what else could it possibly affect? Well, let's dive into that now. So some things that could be affected by a government shutdown are going to be something like the commissary. If you're unfamiliar with what the commissary is, it's essentially a grocery store that's on base. Now this would not affect commissaries that are overseas because those ones are essential. Whereas here in the United States, they have other options. If the commissary is closed on post here in the United States, they can go off post and go to Walmart or another local grocery store. Whereas overseas, you may have less options, so those ones are deemed essential and those ones would not shut down during a government shutdown. Other things like the MWR, which if you are unfamiliar with that, MWR is a program that the United States Army has that kind of allows soldiers to do fun activities for no cost or a very cheap cost. Schools on base would remain open. Those are essential things and those come from a different spending budget. Some medical care on post would still be available, things that are fairly important, things like emergencies and inpatient care but certain routine things that are done at the medical facility on post would be rescheduled until a later date after the shutdown. Now, if a soldier was in the process of moving their family or PCS into another post, meaning they're being reassigned from one duty station to another duty station, that move would be on hold as well while the shutdown is going on, along with TDY, which is things like if a soldier was going to another installation for school, that would also be on hold during the government shutdown. Now, as far as retirement paid, that would still be paid out because that comes from a different fund. Soldiers that receive compensation from the VA would still receive theirs on time. However, the VA has said in the past that if a shutdown was to last for several weeks, it could have a delay on it. And then soldiers that are going to school from the GI Bill would still be able to continue going to school as those funds come from a different bill as well. So as a recap, the main things that would be affected is possibly delaying a soldier's paycheck. Some on post daycare would be closed. Routine medical things would have to be postponed until after the shutdown. MWR activities would be on hold. And commissaries, at least in the United States, would be closed until the government shutdown was over. And you may be curious as well as how does that affect civilians that work on post? So me, I am actually a contractor, so the funds for my job has already been funded out, so it doesn't affect me at all. But at my work, we do have government civilians that can be affected. Now, specifically at my work, the government civilians are essential, so it kind of works the same kind of situation like the soldiers where they would still come to work, but potentially, depending on how long the shutdown lasts, they could see a delay in their paychecks. 
but there are other organizations on military installations that don't work the same and their government employees are not essential so they would essentially be what's called furloughed which would place them kind of on like a leave without pay and then once the shutdown was over then they would return to work so there you go, given the current circumstances of the United States having a government shutdown, I figured there might be some people who are curious as to how this affects the United States Army or even the United States military in general. And hopefully that satisfies that curiosity. If so, make sure you hit that thumbs up button on this video. If you have more questions about this situation, you can leave some comments down in the comment section down below. I am not a very political person, so I don't really dive into politics and I probably won't know the answers to the political aspect of it. But if you have some more questions as far as how it affects different parts of the army, I may be able to help you out and give you an answer down in the comments. If you wanna check out some other videos from me, I got some recommended ones right over there that you can check on out. If you are not subscribed to this channel and you wanna see more army related content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But thank you for watching, I'm Christopher Chaos and I will see you next time. See ya.